Howdy neighbors, Ron Hayes with another look at wheat crop conditions in the state of Oklahoma, this time in the west central part of the state along Interstate 40, making some stops in Custer County, Caddo County, and Canadian County, the three C's. Starting in Custer County, we found one field that probably had uh, at one point uh, been grazed and simply, once the cattle were pulled off, had no opportunity to recover. Not too far away from that particular field, we found one that maybe was not grazed, very uneven, but uh, it had some fairly good-looking wheat within it. We're talking about an area, this is north of Weatherford, up toward Thomas. Uh, And uh, as we take a look at this field, again, very short. It is uh, headed out. The heads are not all that big. And there were several spots within the field that uh, were very, uh, very thin, and uh, you could see very clearly the uh, the rows lined up on this particular field as well. Uh, bottom line is that uh, this field probably has got some yield potential. The uh, question is how much, if you get some rainfall, how much grain field you might end up in these areas where you do have good stands. Obviously, the, uh, the areas where it is very spotty, uh, you're not going to get much, if any, wheat out of those areas at all. From Custer County, we moved on and made a, a couple of stops uh, further uh, further east. One was in, in Caddo County, and this was perhaps the poorest field that we saw because it does not look like it was probably grazed. By the way, all the fields that we were in on Good Friday, powder dry. This one simply must have been planted late, not much in the way of moisture at all, and there's not much yield potential uh, with this particular field. Uh, there were a few very small heads uh, most of this wheat was a foot uh, tall or less, and uh, simply not much uh, potential there at either. Uh, you might you might get a few heads with, filled with grain uh, before it's all said and done if you get some moisture in the next few days, but you're not going to get uh, probably more than a couple of bushels an acre if you're lucky on this field. In Caddo County, it's uh, not too far from Hydro, uh, down toward uh, toward the Carnegie area. Finally, we made a couple of stops in Canadian County, and uh, really a lot of variation in those fields as well. First field in Canadian County that we actually stopped at was just a little east of OKC West El Reno, just off of Old 66. As we took a look at this field, it looked a little thin from the road. When we got out of the car, walked into the field, it was very thin. Uh, we, we saw the, the, most of the plants were about, oh, probably, uh, 12, 15, 16 inches tall. The, uh, most of the plants, uh, most of the tillers did have a head on them, but the heads were very small. You could, uh, see clearly, uh, down to the ground without a lot of problem on a, on a lot of this field. And, uh, interestingly enough, no weed uh, pressure at all. It just seems like there's just not much wheat in this field and not as a result a lot of potential. The, the heads are all there. They're very small heads. Whether or not they'll be able to generate much in the way of the grain is, is very much in doubt. We made one final stop in Canadian County, and that was north of the Banner Co-op, just a little ways across the railroad tracks. This was perhaps the best field of wheat that we saw in any of the three counties. It was thicker, uh, uh, fairly short, but again, had had good number of heads. And uh, we uh, had the opportunity, as we took a look at these heads, uh, they were uh, a little bigger than a couple of the other fields that we saw, but uh, not, not tremendously big. And the question mark is exactly what happens when you uh, get uh, some rainfall on them. Will you get any real grain fill in these heads or not? Not quite sure on that, but uh, this has uh, probably the best potential of any wheat that we saw if indeed we get some cool weather and we get some damp weather. Uh, That, of course, uh, will be an uphill battle to get that from Mother Nature, but does look like at this point there is the opportunity to maybe make some uh, some wheat on this particular field that we saw just north of the Banner Co-op. Overall, some observations. Everything's very short. It's very spotty from one field to the next. Any field that has some uh, some grazing on it uh, simply is not going to recover, and, and it really is just a, almost just dirt and a little bit of green in it. Uh, the other fields that probably were not grazed, they're looking somewhat better, but they are really on the brink. They're very, very dry, powder dry. And uh, the question right now, if you get rain, how much grain fill will you end up with?
That's a look at what we saw on Good Friday, April 22nd, 2011, the 2011 wheat crop in perspective and in these pictures for you here from the Radio Oklahoma Network and OklahomaFarmReport.com. I'm Ron Hayes reporting.